first recipe that we're going to be making is bunny cupcakes, all right, which is a really simple uh, recipe, but looks really, really cool. So it'd be one of those things that you want to take a photo of and share with your family. Now, I know a lot of people are having trouble, including myself, accessing flour at this time. So a really good hack for this particular recipe, instead of making it from scratch, is using just the no brand named cake mixes, which are, you get for about 87 cents at Woolworths or Coles. All right, comes in both vanilla and chocolate. And so that's going to be the easiest way that we can make this recipe while we don't have access to flour. So for this recipe, we need our cupcake mix or our cake mix. We need a couple of eggs. We've got some milk here um, and some melted butter. And we're going to mix it all together, but we're going to take it one step at a time and show you how to make these really cool cupcakes. All right, kids, come and join me. All right, so we're going to get Grace starting here. Grace is going to pour our cupcake mixture into our bowl. I'm going to uh, move the camera a little bit so that you can see what we're going to do. And while that's happening, I'm going to get Sam to line our cake tin this morning, or our muffin tin, with some really cool uh, muffin tin liners. And these are going to look really effective because they're nice and pink. Now, I've already pre preheated my oven, and we need our ovens preheated to about 180 when we do baking. All right, Grace, next ingredient in is our two thirds of a cup of milk. So I'll get you to add in that for me. Awesome. Now Sam chopped and melted some butter before, so we had to put it in the microwave for about 40 seconds. So Grace, you can add that melted butter. Awesome, get it all out there. And Sam, do you want to pause and add the eggs into our mixture this morning? So it's super simple to do. Uh, once we get some flour, I'll show you how to make these from scratch, but it's a really cool little hack that's uh, cheap and effective. All right, we've added our eggs in there. So that's all the ingredients, and we simply use a hand mixer to mix them all together. All right, now you have to be mindful that when you're using a hand mixer that you use it on low to start with or you're gonna have bits of egg and milk and flour flying everywhere. So I'm gonna get our mixture started. It's turned on at the wall. And you just wanna rotate it around. The whole point is to add lots of air and to incorporate all of our ingredients. Okay, Sam, do you wanna have a turn for a little bit? Now while we're doing that, I'm gonna get Grace to go into one of the cupboards and grab a quarter cup Measurements, that's it. Spinning the bowl around. Make sure you get around all the sides. The thing that's really important when you make cupcakes is you want consistency in the sides of your cupcakes. So if you're just using a spoon mix, all right, and you're only adding a spoonful in, sometimes it can be hard and you get really small cupcakes and really big cupcakes. But if you stick to, say, a quarter of a cup measurement per cupcake um, paper, then that is the best sort of way in which to do it. All right, how's our mixture looking? It's looking really good. Delicious and good. All right, let me just check. There's no lumps in there. It's all nicely mixed together. All right, let's turn this one off. All right, this is the fun part that the kids like most, and that is uh, they really like licking the beaters, but make sure that you uh, turn it off at the wall. And being hygienic. That's right, and being hygienic given this current situation. So if I was doing this at home, or even when I was cooking with my students in the kitchen, I'd either just get a spoon or a spatula and I would just make sure that I scrape off the majority of my mixture here. Thank you, Grace. All right, so it's almost at lickable stage. So that's all good to go. And I'm just going to move my beaters to the side. Okay. So as you can see here, our mixture is ready to go all looking beautiful and now we're going to take our mixture and a quarter of a cup at a time and I'm going to get the kids to do one each to start with all right you get the mixture and you scoop it in now you can use the spoon all right to make sure you're scooping out all the mixture but you want to stick to exactly the same sort of measurement as much as you can all right let's start Looking good, perfect. You're in, but keep going, Grace. Such a mm, looks really good. So Grace is going to keep rubbing that in until it's all perfectly mixed, and you're not seeing any of those lumps of food colouring that she's still seeing there. Good job, Grace. Keep going. Okay, what we're doing here is we're preparing our marshmallows to make our marshmallow bunny ears. Now Grace has already prepped the caster sugar and food colouring to make nice pink 
bunny ears and we're using both pink and white marshmallows. So show us how you're making the ears, Grace. A couple of different options, but Grace likes to sort of cut it on an angle there because she thinks that's more of a bunny shape. And you can pinch the ear or pinch the marshmallow if you want, um, which makes it a little bit more like a bunny ear. That's so cute. And the last step of our decoration process is to make a buttercream. Now, this recipe that I make, I make with my students all the time and it's super easy to do. Um, you simply need 250 grams of butter and the butter needs to be at room temperature. You don't want to melt it, but if you're taking it out of the fridge, you want to stick it in the microwave until you can squish it between your fingers, okay? Which means that it's not going to get caught up on the blades of the food processor. If you don't have a food processor, you can use an, a beater like we used before, or if you don't have one of them, you can use old school and use a whisk. So we need 250 grams of butter and I cube it, because that's the easiest thing. And then you need a 500 gram bag, I think it is, yes, of icing sugar. And you might think, wow, that is a lot of icing. The awesome part about this recipe, or any time that you make a buttercream, is you don't need to use it all at once. So if you find that we've iced our 12 cupcakes, and we don't need any more of the mixture, all right, you can simply freeze the mixture, and when you want to use it again, you just defrost it in the fridge overnight, and it's as it was before. So you don't need to use it all, but uh, it's good while you're using it, uh, or while you're making it, to make extra and save it for a rainy day, because you may want to do some other cooking with buttercream over the holidays. Okay, so the first step that I'm going to do is I'm using one of the school's food processors here, and it really is, I put it all in the food processor and leave it kind of recipe, which is my favorite. So you can see there that I've got all my butter cubed and it's all at the perfect temperature. Now, some students will ask me, well, what happens if I accidentally melt it? Well, then you won't be able to use it for this particular recipe. We don't want melted butter, we want room temperature butter, okay? And then I'm going to mix, well, put in rather, not mix it yet, my icing sugar. You don't need to sift it because that is going to be the job of the food processor to mix it all together so that there is no lumps. Okay, so this takes a little while, so I want you guys to try and be as patient as you possibly can. All right, let me put my food processor lid on. Loud noise. Oh, I need to turn it off the wall. Now it's a loud noise. There comes a point in the recipe, or as it's processing, where it kind of just resembles breadcrumbs, all right? And at this point, a lot of people make the mistake of going, oh, it's too dry, I'm gonna to need to add some liquid. This is where I'm telling you, persevere and be patient and let it do its work. You might find towards the end, if it's still super thick, we can add a little bit of milk, but the butter will eventually incorporate with the icing sugar and you'll get a nice fluffy buttercream. Let's see how we go. Let me show you already. So that wasn't even, that was only a few seconds longer than when I said before. And you can have a look now that if I put my um, my spoon in there, it is a super thick buttercream. Now that's awesome, but I want it to be a tiny little bit more um, not durable, Grace, but palliable in that I need to be able to pipe with it. Okay, it needs to be at a pipeable mixture. So I'm going to add just the tiniest, and I mean tiny bit of milk to the recipe and that will just make it a little bit wetter and hopefully makes it a little bit easier for me to um, pipe. And that should about do it. So let me have a look and show you what it looks like now. Beautiful, I'll grab a different spoon. I think I've used about 47 spoons already um, this morning, but it's, a, it's really nice and thick, but it's easy enough for me to be able to pipe with. Because anytime you do piping, you don't want it to pipe and then lose its shape. You want it to be thick enough so that it retains its shape. Now at this point in the recipe, if you've got kids that go, I don't want a white bunny, I want a pink, purple, blue, orange bunny, then you can change your buttercream accordingly. But for us, we're gonna stick to the traditional recipe, which is a white buttercream.
Okay. As you can see here, I've put my buttercream into my piping bag and I've got a nice sort of swirly tip on it. If you don't have a piping bag at home for heat, for many, many years, I just used a like snap lock bag and you just put all the icing into the corner of a snap lock bag and snip it and you can do that as a piping technique. So you don't need to have a piping technique. It's just that I'm at school in the school kitchen and we have a whole bunch of piping bags, so I thought I'd use it. So let me demonstrate how we just do a nice simple swirl. We don't want anything really fancy because we're going to be adding our bunny ears. Um, and we also have the options of putting a bunny nose and some eyes on for those that may want to do that. So have a look down. My cupcakes are nice and cool to touch, which means that as my buttercream goes on, it's not going to melt, okay? So the easiest way when you're piping is to make, make sure you put pressure from the top and you're squeezing downwards, okay? Don't squeeze the bag, but you're squeezing from the top, okay? And we simply want to go around once and then we're going to add our bunny ears to show you how to do it, okay? to go all the way around our wow, looks really good. cupcake. All right, looks a little bit like a rose at this point, not much like a bunny. But so let me put my piping tip down and wash my hands. And we have our... Since I have a little bit of... Um, Smarties for the eyes and the nose, right? Yeah, so the ones that I showed, well, the ones that I saw originally when I was having a look at inspiration for this recipe, can I have... These yeah, those perfect. These are the ones that Grace cut on an angle, which I thought looked really good. All right, and she simply stuck them in Oh, they look so cute. All right, and there's our little bunny cupcake. Now you might choose to, if you want to, add a nose or whatever. We've got some uh, Smarties there or you can use M&Ms, but I'm a big fan of less is more. And I think our cupcakes with our little bunny ears look super cute as an Easter treat. So here's one we prepared earlier. I'm gonna get the kids, take over the phone now and have a look and let the kids have a go at um, doing some icing. Now. This is the fun part. So let the kids get messy and see the sort of creations that they come up with. And I'd love you guys, if you can, take some photos of your final products and send them through to me. You can um, send them through to me via our school Facebook page, or you can send me an email at katie.mateo at hilliardadventist.com.au because we want to share with the rest of our community all of your awesome Easter creations. So have fun in the kitchen and we'll see you guys next time. Bye. Bye. just by how it looks, yes. because that's really important. Um, as you can see, it's really cute and really pretty. <laughs> I'm not a huge fan of marshmallows, but I like the way it looks, and I'm gonna try it in Excellent. Yes, all right. I, I, me too, I think food, it's all about the look, yes. first, straight away, so it looks... <laughs> Consistency is, <laughs> is fluffy. <laughs> um, it's been piped really well. Thank you, thank you. Yes, so that's probably the kids' one. I'm going to test the sugar ratio. Yes, I think a cupcake should, when I touch it, it should be nice, be like nice and fluffy. Uh, it's fluffy really, it's really and soft. Yep. So and it is like mm, it's really it's buttery, which is good because we don't want too much sugar in there. You know, just, just a little bit. All right, All right big bites. Okay, big bites. Okay, so. Yes, I'm going to invite Miss Littlewood while these two eat, and Mr. Littlewood's going to share his opinion. Mm. Come on in, sir. Good timing. All right, here is our fearless leader. Oh, cream is very tasty. <laughs> Mr. Littlewood, here's our options this morning. We have uh, Nest, Easter Nest, or we've got Bunny Cupcakes. Which one would you like to review? Or you can review both. Which started with It's your there? choice. They started with the cupcakes first. Oh, the cupcakes are very impressive. Do they? To say. And I'll, I'll, I'll put my hand up, you're going to see it in the video. I only piped two of them. These were Sam and Grace that piped and made the rest of them. Yeah, so the shoe steps are doing their job. They're doing a really great job. So try one. What do you think, ladies? Pretty good? I like the cream. The yeah. cream is just nice and really light. It's yep. not, not too sweet, not too... Yeah, not um, too I'm really enjoying it because I try not to eat too much sugar. <laughs> especially at this time of year, if you can believe that. But no, I'm, I'm really enjoying the cupcake. It's very nice and I would eat another one if I, <laughs> if I could. Yeah, awesome. 